Hi, my name is Robbie Samuels, and among the many other hats that I wear, I'm a business growth strategist. I coach entrepreneurs, which is why every Tuesday I share a short story with a business or life lesson and a your challenge this week section. I share it as an email with my email list, and I record it as a video to share it with you. Check out my weekly missives by signing up at one of the resources I share in the comments below. This week's short story is titled, Yes, That Seth Godin. So I remember it like it was yesterday. It was mid-2015. I had left my career six months earlier to pursue speaking and coaching full-time, and I was feeling, let's say, a bit unmoored. See, after days of you know of having all of my my schedule like strictly organized by deadline for for decades of doing that, I suddenly was the one who decided what was a priority, and I didn't have a support team to help me handle all the mundane tasks. For months, I'd been consuming podcast episodes like it was my job, and I was learning just so much from them. There's this one piece of sage advice that I learned from Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income podcast, which he mentioned he learned from Jason Van Orden. And that is, there's a difference between just-in-time versus just-in-case learning. And that really struck home because I had been just-in-case learning a lot for six months, not applying any of it, but just consuming content, like I said, as if it was for my job. But I knew that it was time for me to just like focus in on a project that would help me turn my side hustle into a six-figure business. So because podcasts had had such a big impact on me, I like the idea of talking more than writing. I decided that would be the first thing I was going to do, not necessarily for revenue, but for standing out and being seen as an expert in my space. And that's what I did. I, I knew that it was going to take a lot of focus and a lot of attention because I wanted it to become like a, an amazing resource right out of the gate. Now, little did I know, I couldn't have foreseen this, that I would be able to interview Jason Van Orden who was the person who said that. He had been the host of Internet Business Mastery. I got to know him. He's an awesome guy. I'm so glad to call him a friend. And I would never have dared dream that I'd get to meet Pat Flynn and invite him to be on my show. And the thought never crossed my mind, my wildest dreams, that I would get to interview Seth Godin. And yes, that that's Seth Godin. So if you want to know my secret to getting amazing guests, you want to? I ask them. I know. So it's, it's a unbelievable idea. <laughs> But the truth is, like, I would get nobody awesome on my show if I didn't ask them. And that's that's the whole Wayne Gretzky quote, right? So your challenge this week, when you first start a new project, you often kind of have very modest goals. I want to suggest that you dream bigger, right? Stay with it and thoughtfully develop the connections that you need that will help you far surpass the original modest goals. And, you know, set your sights on your own version of Pat Flynn and Seth Godin, whoever that might be in your space. And it's not going to happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight for me, but it will take likely less time than you would imagine as long as you start actually focusing on these new goals and really consistently putting in the effort. So try this and let me know how it goes. Now, I got to tell you, my original goal for On the Schmooze felt audacious. Uh, my goal was to host a weekly episode for two years. I wanted to hit 100 episodes. That was my goal. Now, today I'm releasing episode 250. Episode 250, that's 50 episodes a week for five years. It's every week except for Christmas and New Year's. And I I far surpassed my, my goal, which maybe wasn't that modest. Now, to focus my energy on moving out of state this summer and also working on the book that I mentioned other times, I'm actually releasing what I'm calling the Encore series. So starting in early July and going through the end of September, I'm going to be releasing 13 amazing interviews that have been sort of stuck in the archives all this time. So you're going to hear stories from people like, yes, Seth Godin, but also a lot of lesser known, awesome people who will be sharing their story about their leadership journey and how they built and sustained their professional network. And I'm thrilled to be sharing these stories with you. They're excellent. And just because they happened a couple of years ago doesn't mean that you shouldn't hear about them. So um, I also want to let you know that if this has been inspiring to you, if you're thinking about how to raise your game, uh, how to move to the next level, have a bigger impact, bigger income, I would love to talk to you about working one-on-one -on -one together or having you join my mastermind next year for entrepreneurial women. So check out the details of what I offer at robbysamuels.com forward slash coaching. We'll put the link to that resource into the comments below and reach out. You can write the word chat in the comments below and we can schedule a time to talk and just see, you know, how I might be able to support you either 
as a coach or maybe just uh, point you in the direction of some great resources. Last thing I want to mention is that this story first aired on November 13th, 2018. It was originally an email story that came out back then, but now it's being reshared because it's going to be one of the stories in my new book coming out later this year. Thanks. And I hope you have a great rest of the week.